go live from your phone on IG. You can't go live on your computer. Right. Well, let's see what IG is. That's what I'm saying. IG. I think it was just. <clears throat> okay, you gotta press. The, you gotta press the button, the um, plus button. Then you gotta press um, the camera. Is it? Hold on. Next, then you gotta press next. Then you gotta press. It's a lot. It's a lot you gotta do to um, go live on IG, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a process. Actually press, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. Um. Maybe, man. Uh, now, so if you got an iPhone, cool. it's, it's like it's it's yeah, it's too press. It's two two buttons to press, so you can go live. But whatever. So he was calling the girl's name while he was sleeping with her. While he was having sex with her. Because this girl, yeah, they talking they, about yeah, you want to be this girl, huh? He was saying, yeah, you what? want me to stick this D in you? Yeah, yeah. He was saying all that? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he Hold on, I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to see if I can pull I it up. I ain't play it because they, 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 the internet will give me a, they treat me like, like I'm going like, to you know, but. Yeah, and it was people in the comments. It was going crazy in the comments. That's odd, man. No, nobody was harming the making of this object. A situation like this, you you try to you try to make light of it. Nobody, yeah, no, nobody was harming the making of this audio. No, 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 no. no. Oh, I don't know. Except <laughs> you, you know, yo, yo. they had to put a little ice pack down there, but she good otherwise. Nope. You wow. know when you play a hard game, you ice. Basketball players ice their knees, they ice their ankles, the elbows and stuff like that. After you know, up and down football players. Okay. Hey, oh, she might be in the Epsom salt right now. Hey, you know, she in the Epsom salt right now, watching, watching, watching the show. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> oh God. Yo, this guy gonna be on net, so he get to go on Disney ESPN tomorrow because he's black. If a white dude did this, man, he, they'd be holding him to a different standard. Press one. What do y'all think about that? You think a white dude could do could have accidentally been having sex on IG Live and then went on his podcast and joked about the woman being sore and then just show up to work tomorrow and be on the show tomorrow? Who thinks that that could happen? Only one man that could do that, but he's locked up. Uh, oh, it was the Jewish porn star? I forgot his name. Ron Jeremy. Ooh. Yep, that was the only man that could do that, and he's locked up. What show do he got on Disney? On the Disney Network? It does um uh, he was with uh, Viacom? So you know, he you right, you right. I don't think no white dude. Only one, maybe. Um, Pat McAfee, maybe. Charlie no, Sheen ten years it. ago. I, I doubt Pat could do this shit. Right? You think Pat could have done this? You you. I, I, your said, I, I said maybe. I didn't say he he could. I said maybe. Pat McAfee having sex on IG Live. And then doubling down and going on his personal podcast and talking about how sore the woman was and how her private parts are sore and making light up. Not saying that there's anything wrong with that as talking about in, in the locker room, but was that his like, wife, Ike, or was it some random? Some random. Damn, it wasn't even his wife. Jesus Christ, he ain't got no wife, man. He got more kids than the wings, man. Oh, I could have swing his mate to a guy queen. That man got more kids than the wings, man. 
Who, Shannon Sharp? Yeah. Kittle oh, got more. Marquez and Tyreek? Yeah, I was, about, I was about to say that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. The Wayne family ain't got nothing on Tyreek. Yeah, you're right. Oh. He yeah, up Tyreke there. Tyreek ain't finished either. I Shannon up there. I think he, Shannon got he, like seven. He, he ain't even got started yet. Well, fucking just sent me a video of Shannon Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon Sharp ain't even got started yet. Yeah, 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 Shannon Sharp ain't even <laughs> God, that pussy, that pussy was too warm for him. Uh, I uh, think uh, uh, Brito's quitting. Uh, uh, what the fuck? It's just what he sound like, too. <laughs> ah. yeah, okay, take Good thing we didn't have down. audio from that cucumber video oh. earlier. Thank God. Yo. <laughs> It's just, it's just dawned on me. The shit they could get away with that is like unbelievable. Yeah, this is just sickening, like the self promotion and shit. The arrogance. It's, it's just like. Much like, like Tyreek. Yeah, this is the. Yeah, well, not a Michael. This is what I think. Not very good. I was, I, was, I, was, I was upset, but then I also remembered. That you're not very good or you're not very technically savvy with yeah. phones and computer equipment and all that stuff. So I gave you a little grace. But I, I was still a little upset. I was a little hurt. But the fact that it was a Michelle and not a Michael, <laughs> God, that's my dog. <laughs> God. Wow. Like who, why would, that that right is true, though. Is, yeah, but here's my thing. Like, why even think that it could be a mic? Most straight don't know, guys man. don't have to go around proving that they're straight. Yeah, like speaking. nobody I know would have been like, man, I'm glad right. I wasn't no like it would never <laughs> even cross their mind that it could be I mean it's 2024, change. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. And but here's my thing. I think that that's true though, because he has so many gay rumors about him. Yeah, Not I was saying say, that he's gay, but yeah. he has a lot of gay rumors. I, I think because, he, I think he's suspect. Well, since the um, Cat Williams thing, everybody was calling him gay, and I didn't know where that came from. I never thought he was gay. I never, right. never caused him. Did you see that picture of him though? No. It was a nah, picture. It was a picture. Shot. He's, a picture, a picture he's straight. Nah, he's straight. Man, he's he's straight. He's, he's straight, he's man. Straight, man. Yeah. I think he says a lot of disappointed cucumbers. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to think of, of a glider or even an umbrella that could do this, and you know, it's all good. I can't think of any, none. Mm -hmm. Not one. Maybe an umbrella? Maybe? Nah, I don't I gotta I don't think, think of one, so. though. I don't think so, bro. Like, I'm thinking about like even like the umbrella channels, he'd be done. You can't do this. Nah, shit. and Telemundo, you could do that. Nah, you could do nah. that, in Telemundo. Nah, I don't know. I doubt it. P people that watch that shit, bro, are like old, like you know, like P like old señoras, you know, old 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 girls. You know what I mean? They don't want to. I mean, people don't want to hear that shit. Gliders get fired for saying "fuck" on camera. They can't do it on camera. But Telemundo is owned by uh, Viacom, so you really can't count it. It's not Disney. What do you mean? Telemundo, those channels are owned by Viacom. Like, it's under the Viacom umbrella. Okay. So maybe you can do it over there in that network. You can. You think that they, they could, like, have, have some shit like this occur and then just... Like about it so so freely. I don't. I can't imagine. Maybe so. Maybe so. But I can't imagine it. Like who? Like Jorge Ramos? Fuck out of here! No way. He'd be done. Yeah, people aren't believing it. People online are not believing this, man. They're saying it's too many steps to go live. I'm reading the comments on IG. It's it's just too many steps. You just can't like just wow. go live. Oh, really? Yeah, Damn. you gotta press different buttons and screens, and different screens pop up, and you gotta go to this screen and that screen. And the thing to me is, like, they're both preoccupied 
who's the third person going live? Like, hey, you know, yo. Probably a third person there is what I'm thinking. That's what I was saying. I think he, I think he was live at first, and he forgot oh, to sign off. Okay, yeah. I can see that. That's happened to a lot of people. Oh, so he was live already, and he forgot to sign off. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, that makes, okay. yeah, that makes more sense. Man, it says here he's blaming hackers too. Well, then that's then then he wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't Look, hacking the now you got people using AI. Phone. That's just a pro forma statement. After they do this shit, they, everybody blames getting hacked, and most of them are not. Yeah, that's that's what I meant. It's just the desperate excuse. Yeah. Check this out. Now y'all got you got people going on live using AI, different people's voices, talking about some Denzel Washington court having. Sex on live. <laughs> Denzel? Denzel would be straight. Yeah, they're using Denzel. AI with voices. But but I'm saying I can Denzel did it, he'd be all right too. Yeah, but he don't gotta go to no show tomorrow. He don't have to show up to no show that's on Disney Channel. You know, Disney Wait. owns ESPN. Oh Denzel yeah. just he just do movies. You ain't gonna see him till the next movie. That wouldn't affect his, his mm. stuff. Shannon Sharp will be on first take tomorrow morning. With Stephen A. Smith and shit. Complaining about white people and shit. <laughs> like they right, do every right. day. They that's all they doing. They just complain about white people. That, that's my favorite part. Seems to unite a lot of people. Yo, Especially JV white people. in the bag. Javion's in the bag. Fairly stand up. Yeah, this person says, Unk, too many people were saying you want the DL, so you staged this, Unk. It's okay, love. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'm telling you, Chief, he's, I think he's sus as hell. I don't think he's gay, but I think that he heard the noise. Like, listen, man, if one person called me gay, I would be like, oh, shit, man, what the fuck, man? I mean, <laughs> right. What the fuck? Like, he had a chorus of celebrities, comedians roasting him about being gay. It was the talk of social media. For um, that whole two months after he did the Cat Williams interview, they got like oh, seven million. What he doing? Because he's gay. What he doing under that brought that up though? No, they just say he gay. Like they, they he didn't do nothing on the thing. Oh, it, oh, because it's it just they, they just yeah, because he, like he wears like, yeah, he wears really tight clothes, but he's fit and that you and know his stuff like that. Trainer, no, his his assistant is is was gay. At that time, he would he, his personal assistant everywhere he would go with, with his personal assistant. His personal assistant was gay. Um, uh, um, Damn. what do you call it? Um, his um, his stylist or whatever was, was yeah. a gay dude. Luckily, mm -hmm. now he has a foolproof alibi. Uh, conveniently, and he would be no he, but he would he would be sitting in the front row at games with him, man. Yikes! Yeah, his personal assistant knew uh he met him through Kerry Rose, uh, the Jets football player. And Kerry Rose is gay. Yeah, that that has been a big time rumor. Like they always said he was sus, then but he was messing with a girl. I, they, he, 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 yeah, it's a lot of sus things they always said about him. He he got to put up that IG video, right? To you know, put him in the, put him in the rest. Yeah, Nick. You have a back. family. Let me um, let me play the um and, and hit the hit, make sure you support the channel via PayPal Cash App. Yo. Let me um, let me um. Okay. Thing from Jason yeah. Jason Whitlock. Hold on. Um, Jason Whitlock said this man. Uh -oh. Hold on. who has been connected to public. 
in this decision that, you know what, I'm going to front and center my gay stylist, Hollywood Simpson. I'm going to front and center a gay stylist who has been connected to publicly with several former professional football players. Okay. Why do I call that a business decision? Because anyone familiar with how Hollywood and the entertainment industry works, anyone who has wet their finger and stuck it in the air and figured out how corporate culture works in America over the past decade, knew that the wind is blowing in the direction of everybody who calls themselves an ally of the LGBTQ. Shannon Sharp made a business decision that, you know what, I'm going to front and center my gay stylist, Hollywood Simpson. Yeah, that's so Nah, he's gay. I don't know. Shay, Shay looked like he might have pooped on somebody. What's meet. going on there, guy? I don't know. He's, <laughs> got, <laughs> he's got a dude stylist. Most people in Hollywood have a, a like a female stylist when it's a guy. This is a dude. They tried I mean, to roast him for wearing them t- that tight ass sweatsuit, and he hopped out with that man purse, and right. his legs was looking that weird. It was weird too. He's really? like, yeah, you know, I really pounded. Right, the right. China. That was the picture. He was looking That's, real pretty. I never, yeah, I never heard of nobody. I never heard one gay anything insinuated with Shay Sharp until that video. After that, it was like, yo, this nigga gay. (laughs) Yay. All it take is one, all it take is one, one weird leg movement and and, and hand movement. That's it. Now now you've been pooping on me. They called him gay before that. The comedians yeah. was all called him gay. That. Like, oh yeah, that. oh all right, yeah, my fault. I stand corrected. Then I, really, I don't know. He's, he's really, he's kind of feminine. He kind of comes off as feminine. Well, so you can sit across from me and look at my balls. I'm sitting down. Thinking, I thought he was going attack cat. That nigga there. The nigga shit is called Shay Shay. The nigga's telling you. Put a wig on exactly. He don't have feminine manners, though, Wicked. I don't think so. You don't think so? I mean, I met him before, like, to get order, uh, 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 autographed football, 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 football. Oh, oh that's your homie? All that money that nigga got, nigga came out on That nigga Shannon Sharp called me trying to do an interview. I said, no, Medea, I ain't doing no interview. Yeah. So you can sit across from me and look at my balls. I'll sit down, nigga. <laughs> when was that? When was that? Uh... That was the one. Remember, he tried to fight my guest. Remember, they had to leave? Nah. 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 Yeah, I ain't like, tapped in. He, he flew up there to, um, he flew up there to, um, Indianapolis because Mike up said he was going to shoot his ass. Uh, All Star Weekend was me. I like the song to this. That's the Jason. Yeah, this is. This is. I know it's dirty. I know it's dirty. Bad as hell, though. Oh, yeah? Really? Uh, yeah, I ain't seen her. She's like, a, I'm guessing she's mixed, right? She's uh, she yeah. she she not Sun mixed, Latin. but she like she on the lighter side, but not light oh. skin. She oh, she's like not a sun glider. Wow, I'm surprised. Not nah, yeah, I'm surprised too because he had that glider wife, and you know he had to drop her like a like a, a sack of hot potatoes because because he was doing that pro black rhetoric. But the glider queens love that shit though. I mean, but he he got he got to keep it black. No. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think he care care. I don't think football players care. Nah, about that. nah. He he He's no. He always been. No, nah, he always been dating white girls. He Damn. that that shit is a that shit has been a front. He do that shit as a front. I need That's what I'm saying. I'm, I met I'm I met this dude. 
to um, love um, He just does, does that as a front. And but I'm saying that they could be okay with being oh, with true to football. Mm. But when it came is... right down to it and they see how devout I was in it, they couldn't be. Couldn't, right. Everything that I've accumulated doesn't mean anything if I don't have anybody to share it with. Mm. I, I guess I'm going to have to find somebody that yeah, has good. something. And I, I, I tell people, look, I, I want someone to bring something. Look at that smile. He's super happy. I don't care if it's fork. I don't care if it's napkins. Right. I don't care if it's domestic. He's regular. But bring something. He's regular, man. And so <laughs> that's how you know he likes white right, women. Now, I don't care if regular, kids, Jay. I, I will take graciously accept the kids. Right, right. Oh. Your family becomes oh, my family. Yeah, that's, that's a daughter right there. My family, if you come oh, in and say, your mom and dad are having trouble. Right, right. Okay, your yeah, mom and dad on. ain't got no trouble. Right. right. Once, like once you would, and and so we can work. We can work from that. Right. I don't care if you have yeah. kids. Oh no, she I was she great. Right. Right. Accept the kids. Right, right. Yeah, all right. your family becomes my family. <laughs> well, she rich now. Do for my family, she if you come to me and say, that nigga big child was like, she bad. I was expecting some more than that, man. Damn. Yeah, different yeah, strokes yeah. for different folks, man. Oh, you from Philly, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right? Nah, nah. Sometimes, sometimes you need a good accountant, Ock. Mm. And then from the Illadelph, man. Right, JVN's going out for that. Fish. Yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm used to these goddamn uh oh, to these gargoyles, my oh, bad. Goblins. God. Gargoyles. Hell fucking uh. I mean, pretty apt description, honestly. No cap. Put, putting it nicely, though. Gotta go on, Craig. And he said the tabloid that he was. Let me see this one. Let me let me let, let, let's hear this, man. This person says the real reason Shannon cut ties with this gay stylist. Not yet. Now my thing is, if you don't want people to know your business, then you just don't speak on it now. You're not gonna make me look like a damn fool. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big of a star you are. You're not about to make me like a fool. a way of saying it you know new levels new devils but i like to say in the words of the notorious big mo money mo problems come on in let's talk about it come on so before we delve into what you saw in the title i want to first catch everyone up to speed because i have a lot of listeners outside of the usa okay and they may not be aware Jeez. oh you know what's going on because for so long shannon uh you know have had rumors swirling around him, which I didn't even know about until I made a podcast. I mean, y'all listen, just to be totally upfront with y'all, I never even heard of Shannon Sharp until the Cat Williams interview. I'm not a sports person Damn. in the least, and I don't care about sports. I gave up trying to care years ago, but I had seen his face, of course, but I never knew what his name was. And I never paid any attention to him because I don't turn it on that when it's just me watching TV. Support the channel via PayPal cash app with a super chat by myself, I, that's not something I'm caring about, okay? So I didn't know until people started telling me in the comments, oh, did you know about this? Did you know about that? I'm like, no. I just was watching him on the Cat Williams interview. Salute to Christy, the, a.k.a. Babe Ruth, Michael Babe Ruth Jordan, Mount Rushmore, the GOAT. I'm going to do once again. You and I'm like, OMG, you know, the women who are commenting on how fine he looks and listen, whether he's gay, bisexual or not, he is still. Salute the deluxe 247, a.k.a. Cal Ripken, a.k.a. the real MVP coming through once again. Still a fine man. Now, I don't think he's attractive so much in the face, but his body is banging. It's just the way that it is. And that doesn't have anything to do with his sexuality. It's about the hard work, I suppose, that he puts in to giving us that presentation of this man's body. OK, I mean, it's beautiful, child. OK, now and that skin tone is rocking. I love that chocolate skin tone. Now, so people were just saying, you know what? Oh, 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 you know, now he's, you know, you know, coming, climbing up and he's done got rid of the gay guy because he don't want all the rumors. And Mike Epps is saying this. And so he got rid of him because it's going to make it seem like it's true. Him see being seen with that dude. But that actually, you know, I listen, I'm just going to give you guys my theory because I don't know what was in his head when he let go of uh, the stylist. I'm just going to tell you that I have proof. I have proof that there was more to it than what people are saying. And I believe was the predominant reason he cut ties with him, okay? So for those who don't know who Shelly is, let's start here. For close to 20 years, 
Shannon Sharp had the same stylist. She was also his assistant. Her name is Shelly Davis. You can find pictures of her and Shannon all over the internet. It wasn't until early spring of 2023 that the paparazzi began catching Shannon all around LA with the man, okay? I mean, they were getting all kinds of photos, pictures, everything. And they identified the guy as Russell Simpson, known as Hollywood. Now, Russell is openly gay. Now, his IRS job is a stylist, okay? He may have another job on the side, <laughs> uh, but he has styled many athletes. Now, this name may sound familiar to a lot of people because over 10 years ago, it was actually Hollywood who outed NFL player Kerry Rhodes as a closeted gay man after photos of the two of them leaked on the internet. Uh, if you didn't see those photos, you can find I got it. He was threatening to out Shannon and Shannon he, and Shannon was like, "Look, man, what I gotta do, man? Don't out me." He's like, "Look, you gotta, you gotta legitimize me, man. You gotta be seen with me in public. You gotta, um, you know what I'm saying? You gotta help me get some more business." And he's like, "All right, cool." Cause there ain't no way I'm walking around. I'm going to the fucking games and sitting front row with some gay dude every night, man. So, wait, you think Shannon did something with him? I mean, it, from the way, from what she's saying, as far as, like, they've been seen around by paparazzi a lot, because I didn't know about that, that, that he was getting caught around with paparazzi, because that makes sense with the gay rumors by everybody in Hollywood. Because, remember, he was only called gay by Hollywood types, comedians. It wasn't regular people calling Shannon Sharp gay. Until mm. the Hollywood comedians started doing it, remember? I, I didn't when he was on first take with Skip. I mean, yeah. I never heard nobody calling him gay. But the Hollywood types probably knew because remember how sure they were? Remember Eddie Griffin though? They weren't like he might be gay. They was like, This nigga's gay. That makes sense now. And he probably all, experimented. All Hollywood types. It wasn't it wasn't regular people saying. So they said he probably, was catching him around with the gay dude for a while, and the gay dude already outed another guy. So since the gay dude already outed another guy, it probably put him on notice like, oh, <laughs> shit, this nigga about to out me. Or even maybe the gay dude told him, I'm going to out you. And he probably was like, look, man, please don't out me. And he's like, all right, man, well, you know, <laughs> you got to, you, you got to, you can't cut me off. We just got, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. I don't know, but. I you can avoid you can avoid all that mess if you just go to the store and get a cucumber. True. Hey, man. yo. The price of one cucumber, man. 50 cent, man, could have could have could have saved him a lifetime of shame, man. Um this is just strange though. It is strange though to be seen everywhere like everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like that night he was about to fight the Grizzlies, that nigga was with him. Remember he was about to fight the whole team at the f f football at the basketball game. That nigga but, was this, 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 this. But, but what was he going to do? Scratch him? Like he was he wasn't going to be about that life. Look at him. It, it don't matter. But all I'm saying is that that guy was with him that night. That is true. Casey needed to have a touch up between fighting. Find them widely on the internet, but let me just tell you about a few. One in those. Uh, one of those was when they were on vacation and Carrie is hugging all over Hollywood. He's kissing him on the head. In another photo, they were in the pool together playing around. In another photo, they were all hugged up. I mean, it was very clear from those photos that this was more than a client, um, you know, stylist relationship. Now, Carrie eventually got engaged to a woman and that ticked off Hollywood because he dropped him. And Hollywood went on this press tour uh, outing him and sharing personal videos and even more photos of the two of them together. Now, Car uh, Hollywood gave an exclusive interview, a little bit I played at the top. And he said, listen, the reason I am telling the world that this man is gay and I'm outing him uh, is because I 
was a wife to him for years. He said, I even, we even lived together. Out of all those years we were together, one of those years we lived together. One year straight, we lived in the same home together. And I was everything to him. And he was like, oh, and you're trying to play me and you're trying to deny this in the public? Oh, no, no, no. So let me give you just a little bit more of that interview from Hollywood. It definitely took a little while. It was not like something that we jumped right into. Maybe like three and a half months. Harry Rose is gay. I mean, anytime you lay with a person that has the same thing that you have between that leg and you sleep with them, you're gay. I mean, he even said in that interview, y'all, that, listen, this actually hurt him. He said, actually, his words were, and I'm quoting, it was a slap in the face when the guy denied that they had had this years long relationship. Now, Hollywood has also outed other high profile men that he has had relationships with when things either don't go his way or they drop him or he feels like he's being fairly untreated. One of those players was a guy who, I don't know if he still plays for the Dallas Cowboys, fairly named untreated. Dwayne Harris. Listen, Hold on. when he and running around with a dude that then outed multiple NFL players, that don't make no fucking sense, man. Could be gay. Like, just off the strip, let's, let's just say this, just off the brotherhood, just off the brotherhood strip, like we NFL players, this gay dude then outed two of my fraternity members in the NFL fraternity and put them on blast, exposed them as being gay when they were closeted. And I'm just running around with this dude. It's a little strange. The power of the. Uh, it don't make no yeah, sense other strange. than you have to. Other than he's blackmailing you or something. It don't make no sense. Am I crazy? No. When Hollywood discovered that Dwayne was cheating on him with women, he outed him. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know, it's important to note that typically Hollywood has a type. Um, he has these secret sexual relationships with athletes who say to the world that they are straight. People believe that they're straight. OK, they've only been seen dating women or married to women like people would have no idea that these particular men are on the down low. OK, because they look so macho. That is generally his type. Now, after those photos of Shannon and Hollywood emerged all over L.A. I mean, even some of the photos uh, were showing him taking him to NBA games. They were sitting courtside. People began to suspect, as I said earlier, that Shannon was gay or bisexual. Now, remember, this ain't just any stylist and this ain't just any gay man. This is Russell Hollywood Simpson. And there are tons of stylists people kept saying to Shannon, why would you choose this guy if you weren't, you know, you know, in some sort of clandestine relationship? I mean, people were saying to Shannon all over social media, this guy is trouble. You know, there was even a TikToker who was relentless. I mean, this man was relentless in making <laughs> TikTok videos saying that Hollywood was Shannon's boyfriend. Or his girlfriend, you know, and those TikTok videos were shared so many times. You can find them all over TikTok. You can even find them on on YouTube. Shannon has said he is not gay. What I find very interesting is that he has never said that he is not bisexual, which is interesting to me because it's not so which much what gay. people say, but it's Same also y'all what they don't say. OK. And so anyway, so that's the background. Now let's get to. Me saying this is the reason that I think he cut ties with them and it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that people were saying, oh, yeah, you gay. Look, at that's why you got this man. You could choose anybody. Here's the deal. Shannon was fired. OK, from Fox Sports Undisputed in June of 2023. Right. And at that point in June. OK, Hollywood was still his stylist. And how we know that is because. When Shannon was giving his goodbyes, uh, you know, on Undisputed, he even paid homage. Yeah. Okay. He, he gave a shout out to Hollywood. Yeah, he, he shouted out his, his, his stylist on his last day on Undisputed. I remember that. But I didn't know who the stylist was at that time. I just knew he, he, he'd be like, Hollywood, shout out to Hollywood. It's like, that dude, you got, you, you shouting out a dude who's, who's, outed multiple of your NFL brothers like that's a serious thing to do that ain't nothing to shake a stick at like no pun intended 
Yeah, facts, 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 definitely facts. He um he took multiple year NFL brothers were was secretly get hiding it from their family and their loved ones, and this guy exposed their secret to the public in a like in a lascivious like ugly way. He's done that twice. That dude is radioactive. If I'm a NFL player, if I'm an OG in that NFL space, he radioactive to me, man. Nigga, don't even sit, nigga. Don't even say nothing to me, nigga. Let alone every game I'm sitting courtside next to you. And it ain't like an entourage. It's just me and you. Like. I don't, don't travel on it. He own it. Just be him and that guy. At the game. If, Sh- if Shannon is gay, he probably deep inside wants to let it out anyway. That's why he would do this. It all makes so much sense now. Because I was wondering why all the comedians was like that nigga gay. They wasn't like he might be gay. He act gay. They was all like. Sure, that shit. I told he, even called, like he called up his daughter. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he experimented and nah, he no probably experiment. No such thing. It, like, I, 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 I won't do that, but that's him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no such. There's no experimenting, man. Ain't no such thing as experimenting, man. You is you. Fruit, man. Um, you a fruit or you not a fruit? <laughs> fruit the behind no. the scenes photos show that Hollywood was there on the set. Take a listen. Hollywood, when I got Hollywood, I flew you out the next day and you said, I said, I want to dress my age. Hollywood said, um, Uncle Shay, you call me Uncle Shay from day one. You said, what else you need from me? I said, I need loyalty and I need honesty. He said, Uncle Shay, I'm going to ride with you till the wheels fall off. And when the wheels fall off, I'm going to get out and walk with you. So they were still in at least a business partnership as of June. Okay. So for all the people saying, oh, he just let him go. Hold on. I'm going to show you the timeline. So that was June. Okay. That date is very important. So let's review it. Shannon was fired in June. He brokered that exit deal with Fox. Now, when he was fired from Undisputed, what people don't know is that that actually put his podcast, Club Shay Shay, from his company, Shay Shay Media, back on the market looking for a podcast platform home y'all because it had been on Fox's platform. And when they fired Shannon, Shannon, that deal went to the went in the wash as well. And so Shannon was not only looking for a job himself, another job, but he was looking for a place to host his podcast. Okay. This was all in June. Now we have found out, shout out to Forbes magazine (laughs) that in late July, Late July, he was he started brokering this deal with ESPN to be a part of, I think it's called First Something or Another. I'm not a sports girl, so I'm sure all the guys will let me have it in the comments. But he started brokering this deal with ESPN uh, to be uh, a co-host on Shannon, excuse me, Stephen A. Smith's show um, like twice a week. Okay, but what people don't know is he was also working with a former co-worker of his. Okay. Colin Cowherd, okay, to host his podcast on his plot, his platform called The Volume, which is huge. A lot of the sports betting podcasts are on there. You can look up and research for yourself The Volume if you've never heard of it. It's a podcasting platform. Uh, it's kind of like iHeartMedia or uh, Spotify, something like that, but it is huge in the sporting world. Now, according to my social media research, In July, while that was going on, was the same time that Shannon and Hollywood broke up, uh, excuse me, ended their business relationship. Because in July, Shannon scrubbed all his social media of Hollywood and Hollywood scrubbed all his social media of Shannon. And Hollywood, being a queen, was very messy. I mean, he was making all these shady posts. I mean, t- basically talking about, listen, you know, what folks can and can't do for him and how, you know, folks better watch their back. <laughs> See, when you get involved with folks like that who done already outed folks and in a very messy way, who done said, ain't nobody going to make a fool out of me, you're asking for trouble. 
plumbing, right? So we don't know, you know, if they were involved sexually or not, um, really doesn't matter. The point I'm making here is that that business relationship ended when he was make, trying to broker those two deals. And I believe that somebody, I don't know, maybe one of his attorneys said, listen, dude, you done got fired from a job you have for seven years. And contrary to popular belief, I mean, we've heard the stories. These people who were in the NFL, just like the folks that were in the NBA and NF, you know, hockey, all these people, guys, people, you know, they're making big bucks when they're when they're active in the game. But when they leave the field, in his case, they are not bringing in all that money they used to have. That's why so many of them become analysts. And believe it or not, those analyst paychecks are not what you think they are. We've heard Here's all the stories. Like I said, they're not. That's why so many of them have multiple jobs and then they got a podcast and then they trying to get sponsorships and then they're doing this and they're doing that. Listen. Okay. So I think we got it, but, uh, yeah, he's gag <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, bisexual, whatever. I, I've been telling you, he was probably laying it down. I'll give him that. Hold on. Let me do Let me put up a poll, man. Um, um every, everybody, uh, hop on the poll, man. no need. No need to hop on this poll pause, man. He you, gay, man. It's a wrap. If, if, if you think, <laughs> Shay, if you think, I want you to tell me about Shay Shay's sexuality. Hop on this poll and tell me what you think. If, Everybody, if hop gay. on that poll ASAP. <laughs> don't, don't get off till you're done. On that oh. cucumber. Yeah. That, that's a poll of a lifetime. Don't miss out on Oh <laughs> Yeah, but... Yeah, but Mark is right. Uh, we could pretty much eyeball this one. He's gay, dude. He, I think he's like, I think he's bi. I'll tell you right now, the poll's going to be like 90%. There's no bi, man. There's no bi. Right, there's, exactly. there's no bi when you a guy. There's no bi. Exactly. Like, there's no experimenting. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that. But If, if you a girl, if you a girl, you could experiment. But if you're a guy, you can't. Sorry, I don't make yeah. the rules, bro. Yeah, y'all got that one. I don't agree. Yeah, listen, man. Once, Wait. once you intake, man, and listen, right. I don't even just say intake. Once you outtake, like Anything. or intake, because here's the thing, man. I don't think if if you can achieve it, if a man can make you achieve an erection, right? Right. That's exactly. something that you gotta. How could you ever be around no. guys again and not? Right. Yo, Jay, Jay you Jay one, just like, young, like, like, we all be with the fellas and whatnot, or you hanging with the homies. Like, it's a guy with y'all that he shit get hard when you see him. He, he, that's yo, that's, this shit, to, that's your mind, yo. yo get chill out, uh, so this, this shit get a graphic. Guy. No, no, but I, no, but listen, I, no, it, it, I no, it's not even graphic. It's it's not graphic. It's the it's 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 the basics. It's just gay. This is the it's basic. Just, if your gay. shit can get hard for a man, you have a mental thing. You're gay in your brain, like you're done. It's finito. Right. Your brain I, is can it, how can it not be so David, David, how, how, how do you how can it not be the case? I say, bi I mean, it's pretty simple. He likes, oh, yeah. he's attracted so to men and women. He's bisexual. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I get what you're saying, but still, that's gay. But he's still LGBT. Yeah, I'm, I didn't, bisexual, yeah, LGBT. The B is for bisexual. Oh, I'm not denying bisexual. that he's attracted well, to men. Wow. I guess, I guess we're arguing the same point. I didn't even you know. know. I, I didn't know what the B was for. That's crazy. I thought I didn't have no idea oh, what the man. B was for. The B is for bisexual. See, they well, even... I, I assume it is. I mean, <laughs> no, no, it is. It is. Yeah, I, 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 know, I know what the T stands for. You know that go. Now he doesn't know. Yeah, they even think you can't be. You can't be. You can't I know. I know what the L stands for. Let's see. I know that. I know lesbian, gay, and then I know trans is T. Hey. No, T L G B T. That passed the T. That passed the T. for uh, queer. Queer. What about the AI? I don't know yeah. about that one. Like asexual or something and like everything that. else. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, I might be actually. I don't intersex. Know what I is. Intersex. Intersex. Yeah. What oh, is an I? Okay. I think so. Yeah, like once you keep you're in there too for like indigenous people. There's a whole lot of fuck shit. I, I yeah, once you keep going, I, that pretty much ended at L. <laughs> I have to know because I'm out of school. So damn, that's crazy, bro. I think uh, PDF files they really need their place on the acronym as well. Right, they're people too, you know. Yeah, they already have it. It's called the G. <laughs> We're like. It's a couple Fair years enough. from that. It's called a T, a GT. They're, they're, they're all just kind of the, – the PDFs are just kind of like sprinkled among all the other right. letters. They don't need like their own letter. Right. This is bizarre behavior. I will tell you this. This guy, if – let's just say he's not gay, right? He is the strangest motherfucking <laughs> – he's strange. He's pretty popular right now, though. I'll give him that. This shit took off, you know, at the Cat Williams. Yeah, well, he, he, he might be trying to like use this though as like a progressive point boost, you know. Like it wouldn't surprise me. It's just kind of yeah, the thing it, now. You don't gotta do all that, man. Nah. I don't think you gotta do all that, man. Yeah, maybe, maybe you don't have to bring him to an NBA fist fight, but you know, f- shit's different these days. Like even in the last ten years, like shit is so different. Like there's no rules anymore. It's just crazy. Well, there is rules Here's for the, the thing, though. Here's yeah, the thing, though. Don't forget that, yeah. thing. Tell me this. Tell me this, though. Like, okay, if you got to run around with a homosexual, right, to be, like, popular or to get, like, advance your career. All right, let's name some famous people, right? You name some famous who Just some rock stars, right? Type motherfuckers that's just super famous. Yeah, no, nah, nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. David Bowie. You're right. Nobody's doing that. But here's the thing, Auk. Like, blacks are always the guy. Like, black people always start the trend. They're always at at the precipice, at the start. So you never know. This just might be the new thing. Well, not not necessarily, because look at Hollywood. Hollywood has been doing it for years. Who? Okay. I'm just saying. I'll show you one person. Marcus Lawrence. The guy, one of the Lawrence Who brothers. Who? One of the one of the Lawrence brothers. A Tilly Tilly boyfriend. Tilly boyfriend, the glider boy. They tried to tell him to get get down, and so he could play in a Disney movie. He said no. No, 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 no. I'm talking about running around, <laughs> going to games, going to appearances. No, unless it's a girl with her gay friend, like there's no there's no glider like rock star doing this. I agree. Ock is right. Where's the black rock star doing this? Shan Sharp. He's the he's our first guy. <laughs> Young thug, maybe. He's the fu- he's the start. Yo, Diddy. Don't even yeah, know. Yeah, sure yeah, yeah. Well, Diddy was trying to fuck but Justin Bieber. Right. He was a fucking maniac. Will Did Smith. Did he roll around with Cass? Jamie Fox. With, um, what's that Dude. other model he was dating? That young Miami. He don't roll around with no. He ain't roll around with Sauce with Santana. He roll around with Young Miami. Yeah, did he was in the kids? Who's who? Who are these? Yeah, this is a good tweet. Like, he got to have a conversation with himself. Like, yo, bro. Like, just... Like, what, what... I don't know, man. I just... I ain't yeah, no rapper. Even, even Ghostface. He doesn't even want to be around his son. Ghostface killed his son is gay? Yeah, his son. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. These yeah. A lot of these athletes, right? Like... If they're still on testosterone or on drugs and stuff, like that stuff is known to fuck with your sexual desires. And they already got high T because they're already sun men, right? So it's like it's not unheard of for like these these guys to get like weird sexual appetites and start being into trannies and shit like that if they're still on drugs. And kind of looks like to me, Shannon is probably still on some stuff because he's pretty fucking big for a guy his age. Hasn't he like broken his hip like twice now? Yeah. But I, I, I'm just, it's just, 
it's just I don't think you have to do all of that. I think you can become popular without doing this, man. I'm just um I don't know, man. I'm I'm just no, not, I'm not buying a whole 